Now back to our electrons moved by the sun, flowing from photosystem two to photosystem one. They get to PS1 like a used up battery. The transport chain used up their energy, but when light hits PS1's antenna, electrons bounce to reaction center. This one's P700. That wavelength makes electrons go. PS1's electron scepter grabs them away, leaving P700 in an oxidized way. And P700 with its oxidized blues accepts the electron from PS2. Back to electron from PS1. It now goes for a ride having its own fun. But powering proton pumps ain't its fate. It travels to NADP plus reductase and enzyme chloroplast count upon to pass some HN electrons to NADP plus, which gets reduced. It's how NADPH gets produced. Light reactions happening in leaves make an oxygen, NADPH and ATP through a solar charge current of electricity converted into chemical energy. O2 is the byproduct of the light reactions, oxygen production. Here's how it happens. Remember back in PS2 it came to a rise. Reaction center P680 got oxidized. To replace lost electrons, P680 liberates electrons from water, which dissociates into one oxygen and protons too. The single O will meet another forming O2. These protons are formed in the thylakoid space, increasing proton concentration in that place. So we see a side effect of water's oxidation is enhancement of ATP creation. Light reactions happening in leaves make an oxygen, NADPH and ATP, through a solar charge current of electricity, converted into chemical energy. Non-cyclic flow is also called the Z scheme. Put Z on its side and see what I mean. Electrons rise in energy, then fall and rise again, making ATP and NADPH, my friend. A variation on this is cyclic flow, which makes ATP. No NADPH or O. Cyclic flow results from the Calvin cycle's needs. It uses less NADPH and ATP. NADPH buildup has the repercussion of inhibiting NADP plus reduction, because NADPH clogs up reductase, keeping NADP plus from moving into place so electrons don't go to NADP plus the clock stuck like a pimple's pus where can they go from P700 nature evolved them a place to flow a shunt pathway moves them to the ETC I'm talking about the one in PS2 you see these energized electrons flow and release energy which as you know is used to synthesize ATP Light reactions happening in leaves make an oxygen, NADPH and ATP, through a solar charge current of electricity, converted into chemical energy. Light reactions happening in leaves make an oxygen, NADPH and ATP, through a solar charge current of electricity, converted into chemical energy.